This presentation gives an overview of the building envelope model in Energy Plus. This is the reference building small office displayed in Open Studio. Note that it is built with six zones, an attic zone, a core zone, and four perimeter zones. In IDF Editor, the types of objects that are required for this model begin with a material object. Materials represent a single layer of some type of material, such as brick or insulation. There are some material no mass objects in this to represent simple insulation or carpet layers in this case. Window material simple glazing system represents a simple way of describing glass, which takes just a U-factor, solar heat gain coefficient, visible transmittance. The model will internally turn that into physical layers of glass and gas. Then construction objects are used to assemble multiple material layers into a single wall, roof, or window construction. Global Geometry Rules establishes the coordinate system when using drawing tools such as SketchUp or commercial interfaces that are available. This will be taken care of automatically, but it will be present in the IDF file. Next is the zone object. Zone object defines the names of the thermal zones. Then within each zone, there is a collection of surfaces, building surface detailed for walls, roofs, and floors. Fenestration surfaces are used for windows and doors. They are placed on a base surface. So a fenestration surface will have a name, a type, a construction name. Then it will reference a base surface upon which it is placed. This model includes some internal mass objects, which add thermal mass to the model without having any specific geometry associated with it. Then for internal gains, there are objects such as people, lights, and electric equipment. Finally, as part of the building envelope model, there are objects for specifying infiltration, in this case, the zone infiltration design flow rate. So these are the basic building blocks for the building envelope model in Energy Plus. Materials assembled into constructions. Constructions become building surfaces and fenestration surfaces. A group of surfaces become a zone. A group of zones become a building. Within the zones, there may be internal mass, internal gains, and infiltration. Within each of these groups of objects, there are other types of objects than what are shown here, which are used for alternate ways of describing the same thing or for more detailed special cases.